faucets were actually invented by the ancient Romans. But when their empire collapsed, so did their water and sewer systems. It took many centuries for running water to make a comeback and for water to become available on tap. But today, faucets help us all lead cleaner lives. Modern faucets are designed to work well under pressure, as in water pressure. They start by setting a brass spout tube on a revolving support. An automated dispenser applies silver solder to the inside rim of the spout. They press a threaded tip into the spout, then dip the other end of the tubes in flux paste, which cleans the brass and prevents tarnishing. They set the tubes against brass hubs. Then torches liquefy the solder, which flows into the joint, sealing the tube to the hub. The threaded tip is soldered in turn. A carriage now moves the faucet spouts against buffing wheels, coated with polishing compound for a mirror finish. A wheel with an abrasive surface gives that finish a brushed texture. They dip the faucet spouts in an acid bath laced with dissolved nickel. They apply an electric current, which draws the dissolved nickel onto the brass spouts, plating them with a thin, even layer. Next, they load the faucet spouts into a special chamber. Inside, an electron beam flashes like lightning as it spirals around a zirconium rod. This causes the zirconium to vaporize. The vapor is mixed with gases being pumped into the chamber and bond to the faucets for a final finish that's virtually indestructible. They give other parts of the faucets the same coating using the same process. Meanwhile, a blade slices a solid brass rod into smaller pieces. A variety of cutting tools machine the brass lump to make a faucet body. It will house a ball valve that controls the volume and temperature of the water. A jaw grabs the other end of the brass body to position it for more drilling. Several tools carve out holes that will act as waterways. The waste brass gets recycled. That piece of solid brass has been transformed into a pivotal piece for the faucet, the valve body. With copper tubes and brass fittings now attached, they slide the faucet into the base plate. That's the plate that sits on the sink deck. They fasten it with screws, working from underneath. Next, a robot puts one half of a stainless steel ball in a spinning vise, which properly orients it so an automated welder can join it to the other half. The ball's openings align with hot and cold inlets in the faucet body to regulate the flow of water into the spout. They insert rubber seals in those inlet holes in the faucet body. Rubber O-rings on the body will both form a seal and allow the spout to swivel. In goes the ball valve, then they cap it with a rubber seal. They screw the aerator onto the spout and tighten it with a pneumatic driver. Now they secure the spout assembly to the rest of the faucet with a metal bonnet. It's time to see how this faucet runs. They connect it to a pressurized water source and check how it functions. Finally, they attach the handle to the rest of the faucet and it's ready to ship out. They include the spray hose and support system. Those are to be installed on site. It takes a day or two to build one of these faucets but it will be on cleanup duty for many years.